Other news now, affordable housing and helping hard hit communities. Those are some of the issues that state leaders should be tackling when deciding how to spend more than a billion dollars in federal stimulus funds, according to a report that was released this morning. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us live to break down this new report and when the money might be spent. Well, the Rhode Island Foundation convened a panel back in April to come up with recommendations for exactly how to spend $1.1 billion in federal funds from the American Rescue Plan. This morning, the group released its suggestions, giving us a better idea of where that money might be headed. Now, the committee is recommending the funding be split between five main categories. The biggest, $405 million for housing, $255 million for behavioral health care, $205 million for workforce development, $100 million for small business assistance and 50 million for so-called neighborhood trusts to support community groups. They're also suggesting 50 million be used for immediate relief. And if you add that all up, it leaves about 66 million of the federal windfall unallocated. Neil Steinberg of the Rhode Island Foundation says they've already presented their recommendations to the House Speaker and Senate President, who he says were appreciative of the committee's efforts. And while there's been debate over how quickly these funds should be spent, Steinberg Steinberg says their plan focuses on the long term. So that debate over the short term will probably continue. It's probably um, a reasonable debate, but we're really focused on the long term. And actually, um, I think we should all be proud that we are collectively taking the time to study it, make a good long term plan. And again, can't emphasize enough building the capacity to actually be able to use this immense amount of dollars. So what happens next? Steinberg says he believes the money would start to be allocated during the next budget cycle that starts after the legislature reconvenes in January. Now, the money needs to be allocated by the end of 2024 and spent by the end of 2026. Now, in the meantime, my colleague Ted Nisi has a much more detailed breakdown of these recommendations. You can find that right now on our website, WPRI.com. Live in studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.